Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a thrifted transformation. So I've been thrift shopping recently and I picked up a few items. I'm featuring two items in this video and I'm gonna keep the other items for a future video. And so I'm gonna be DIYing or rather transforming a pair of pants and a shirt. So if you guys wanna see what I ended up picking up and how I ended up changing them, then keep on watching. <laughs> so the first project we're gonna be working on is these cow print pants and for this project you're going to need some paper to protect your pants you're also going to need some fabric paint um, any kind really but what I'm using here is this stuff called clear base and I added some black pigment to it um, in order to get it to be dark and then you're also going to need a paintbrush you're going to need a good pair of scissors and finally some gloves so these are the pants when I started off. They're just a plain white pair of pants. And the first thing I did was remove some of these rhinestones that were on the pocket, just so that I could be sure that when I start applying my dye, um, the dye is gonna get absolutely everywhere. So the first step I'm doing is cutting this piece of paper into smaller sections that are gonna fit within the pants. So you wanna do this because the dye is going to seep through. I mean, jeans typically are a, a thicker fabric, but just to prevent anything from really getting through to the other side and basically ruining your pants, you wanna protect your pants. Okay, so now that that's done, we can get to the fun stuff. So we're going to be painting and really there is not really any rhyme or reason to this. So I start by doing a an outline on the pants. So I'm doing gentle um, strokes so that I don't fully saturate the pants yet. I just want to make a guide of where I want those cow print splotches to be. Um, so basically, you just want to do this across all of the pants first, just so that you know where you're going to be putting the paint. So yeah, that's what I'm basically doing now, just making sure to trace out that outline, you know, not applying too much paint right off the bat because I want to be sure that, you know, everything is where I want it to be before I really commit to putting that paint. So I base myself off of this um, one pair of pants from this brand that I'm not going to disclose because I am working on this lookbook based off this brand. If you can tell which brand these pants are inspired by, let me know. I would be really curious to know if you guys could guess. Okay, so now that you've gone ahead and traced that outline, you're going to want to fill in those gaps, right? So you're gonna to wanna to saturate the pants with that fabric paint. And this is where a sponge might've been useful as well. I'm using this um, this paintbrush mainly because um, it's a paintbrush that I didn't mind getting ruined, but ideally you wanna use something that will help you get a more even coat on the pants um, because this is going to require a couple of layers Layers. and so if you can get like more even layers it'll make for a much easier process So here, you don't need to worry much about being perfect. All you need to really focus on is getting that fabric paint on at the places that you want them to be. And then you're gonna be able to go back in with a detailing brush, uh, so any smaller brush, and you're going to be able to refine those edges. So really make a more clear outline. And the reason why you do this at the end is because it's really hard to paint between the lines honestly and it's just much easier if you draw general shape first and then you add those extra little details at the end that way um, you make sure that you're 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 gonna not get some paint outside of the lines so this way if there's any mistakes that you make while you were um, adding that large coat of paint 
um, it's gonna be much easier to fix those at the end with the refining paintbrush. This is what a detailed side looks like versus an undetailed size look like. I'm sure you can tell the difference that it adds from doing those little details and really making sure to refine the edges. And when you finish adding all of the paint, you just leave them out to dry 24 hours and then you're good to go. So in love with these results, I think that these pants are the perfect bold statement for the summer. For the next project, we're going to be creating a contrast stitch patchwork top and we're going to be needing some paper again because we're going to be making a pattern and I had to bring out my toolbox for this one because I'm going to need some sewing supplies. So the first thing I'm going to need is my tape measure. I'm also going to be needing some thread and a good pair of scissors. I'm also going to need a shirt and I picked this shirt up because it gave me such Y2K energy and I just figured it would be so cool if this were transformed into a more fitted type of shirt so i'll be using this shirt that i have that's a perfect fit for me as a guide to create this pattern uh, truthfully you don't really need a pattern to do this you kind of just can go off of your measurements um, that's why i also brought out a tape measure um, but i just figured this would be like a more simple way to go about it um, just to lay that fabric um, on my piece of paper and trace out So as you can see, I'm not really being too precise about this because ultimately this fabric that I chose is pretty stretchy so it's going to be very forgiving. But I am making sure to add a seam allowance. So here I am just cutting that pattern out. And I'm just going ahead and adjusting that collar because the collar on the actual shirt is a lot more deep than the one of the shirt that I like. So I'm just gonna make that adjustment. And now I'm just cutting the fabric. And as you can see, I'm cutting very, very loosely around the pattern and the reason i'm doing this is because i need enough space yes for seam allowance but also because of the patchwork effect that we're gonna do i need to be able to have something to pinch when i am putting it through my sewing machine and this is where i went wrong i wish i would have picked a more contrasting thread like something like orange would have been more apparent regardless we move on and we're gonna start by sewing the edges of the sleeves And here I am with my baby, you know, this is my pride and joy. I love this sewing machine and I'm going to get started with the sewing. I'm just doing a basic straight stitch for the hem of the sleeve. So now that the sleeves are done, the next thing that I did was to take some needles and to pinch my fabric where I wanted to do those initial lines. Traditionally what you would do is you would cut this fabric up and you would bring it back together like a patchwork but I wanted to see if I could get away with just doing it this way and uh, I have to say looking back now i would have just cut it up because i think it would have been a much easier process but this diy was quite trial and error for me it was my first time doing this kind of method on a shirt and so i struggled quite a bit i learned some things like i should have used a much looser stitch because i ended up getting my sewing uh, my fabric stuck in the sewing machine quite a bit and it created these little knots and that 
oh, was not fun to deal with. But nevertheless, we persevere and eventually I got the hang of it and I was very, very happy to be done with this project. I'm not gonna lie for the struggle that it was. And at the end, you're gonna wanna clip away those little threads because you're gonna have a lot of them. And this is what we were left with. Regardless of the struggle that it was, I have to say I was very happy with the results and like I had mentioned before, an orange thread would have been a better contrast for this but I think that overall it still was a cute look and it's gonna look good with a lot of outfits. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Let me know in the comments below which of these items you liked the most and if you're gonna attempt to try to DIY these as well. Um, I would love to see your transformation so you guys can follow me on Instagram and tag me. As always, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the very next video. Bye!